welcome back on info for triple and you are watching a series on power electronics using matlab simlink this is 11th video of this series in which we will discuss about step down chopper with rl load using matlab simlink and you are with paramjit singh jamwal first of all we will discuss circuit diagram of step down chopper with rl load this is the circuit diagram of step down chopper with rl load this circuit diagram of step down chopper consists of an anti parallel diode across the load along with igbt switch these are the parameters which will be used to realize this step down chopper with rl load in matlab simlink and these parameters are taken from the page number 308 of power electronics circuit device and application written by mohammad h rashid so now moving towards the practical session on matlab in this video we will continue the simulation we have created in 10th video of this series so first of all open that simulation and save this simulation with different name for our circuit we need a supply of 220 volt it is already there second thing is rl load so click on series rlc branch and update its branch type from r to rl load and for our solution we require the resistance of 5 ohm and inductance of 7.5 milli energy so update its value and click on okay button now it is converted to rl load now we need a diode which will be connected in anti parallel across the rl load so go to library browser and go to simscape power system specialized technology fundamental blocks and power electronics so here it is our diode so drag this block into the simulation file we don't required a measurement terminal so first of all click on this block and uncheck show measurement port so now measurement terminal is disabled now rotate this block counterclockwise and connect it across the rl load now click on on diode there is no discussion about the voltage drop across the diode so i am making it zero also click on igbt switch and there is also no discussion about the voltage drop across the igbt switch so i am also making it to zero and click on okay button in step down chopper with rl load generally rms and average value of load current is measured so disconnect this terminal from load voltage and connect this terminal to the load current so this is i rms to measure the average value of load current we need the min block as we already discussed in previous videos so go to additional measurement and this is min block which is used to measure the average value of load current and load voltage now click on rms block the setting is 1000 hertz frequency 50 microsecond is time so put same thing here 50 microsecond time and 1000 hertz fundamental frequency to observe the rms and average value directly without opening scope block we can use display so go to the simlink section and go to sync and here is display so just drag this block here 
and connect here to observe the every value and make a copy and connect it here to observe the RMS value. Now our simulation is ready. Just save this simulation and run this simulation. Now click on scope button. Here you can see that our load current is trying to increasing. So it means it may further increase. So we need to extend the time of simulation. So just go to simulation and update this simulation stop time from 0 0.005 second to 0 0.05 second. And again run this simulation. And now it is getting stable somewhere else. So we can clearly see that the average value of load current is 22 ampere while RMS value of load current is 22.09 ampere. These are the values which are last values of the simulation. So to observe previous performance we can open this scope block and click on scale x and y axis limit. So here it is displaying the last value. So we cannot directly believe on the display because it displays the last value. So to observe the complete behavior, we need to use the scope block. So here you can see 22 and 22. Okay. So now discussing about the load current, what is the maximum and minimum peak? So First, I'm uh, observing the highest peak of the current. And this is 25.314 ampere. And now observing the lowest peak. And it is around 18.675 ampere. So by subtracting highest and lowest peak, we can observe the ripple in load current. So this is sufficient for today. I am thankful to Mr. Ravi Kamboj for his appreciating words. If this video is useful to you, then like and share it. If you have any query or assertions, then let me know through your comments. If you want to get the notification about our upcoming videos, then subscribe our channel and click on bell icon. Thank you for being with us.